that was quite a long break. <laughs> Technical problems let go like crazy. I'll tell you about it some other time. Maybe even later on. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to dive into Smithfield Dam. Now, this is the uh, this is the one I don't feel real confident about, but I think we need to get it done. So let's do it. All right. So as much as it pains me, <laughs> I think we're going to have to pick up the one that uh, absolutely just makes me nuts. It, it it's it's a backbreaker for me i i don't know why i don't know why but it is so as you can see we've got the crane that's the im50 crane loaded on the back of the taiga uh we need to get over to the trailer store and we need to pick up the flatbed uh or the sideboard semi trailer i hope i have the right saddle on here i think i do i guess we'll see so oops let's get into trailer store we either need that one or that one. I think we're going to go with the sideboard semi-trailer. And we need to get this mission picked. So this one is threatening accident. As you can see, we need to pick up four bar four oil barrels. To get there, we're going to come out of the garage. We're going to come down through the farm route. We're going to break off right across from the uh, north entrance to the dam. We'll come down this windy road and we'll start with this oil barrel. We'll come down and grab this one. We're gonna drop the trailer right here. I'm not gonna drag it down with me. We're gonna grab this trailer, or this barrel. And then the really difficult run is gonna be through this section through here because this whole area is nothing but mud bog all the way down. Now, if I can figure out a way to get through the trees without having to deal too much with the mud bog, then we can come down through that route and come across here and pick it up this way. But this really isn't bad. Once you actually get to it, you've got to, you've got to be able to get to it though, is the thing. So, oh man, I'm, <laughs> I'm not a big fan of this one. So let's, let's give Chuck some rest. We'll get ourselves moved into morning because we're going to need all the all the light we can get and then we're on our way so a lot of folks may not have trouble with this one i don't it's very simple you pick up four oil barrels with the crane drop them in your trailer and then on the road yard I, I don't know why i have such a difficult time with this thing but i absolutely do i knock over the trailer all the time uh the truck gets stuck all the time uh it's just absolutely crazy so if i do get into situations like that just kind of bear with me i mean i don't know i don't know i've been driving these modded trucks too for a bit and if it looks like i'm having a hard time with the tiger it's because i'm used to driving the modded trucks and yeah they kind of they kind of ruin your ruin your 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 drive when you come back to the normal regular trucks you know i am having fun with them the modded trucks uh there are some that just absolutely blow me away to be honest with you they are heavily modded <laughs> Boy, i'll tell you what they would make missions like this absolutely ridiculously stupid easy um but i don't know i chose to go with the challenging mode so here we are so as we cruise through the farms the tension is mounting in my chest and my stomach i can tell you <laughs> uh, i don't know why i do these things i don't know why i do these things to myself it's better to kind of get this one out of the way for for the way this thing's rolling just because up to this point and i say that <laughs> with a lot of traded er, trepidation but up to this point, everything that I thought was going to be a difficult run has turned out to be a piece of cake. And everything that uh, I expected to cruise right through has become monumental. <laughs> uh, this is crazy. It's just crazy. But that's the fun of this game. That's why I say it's the attraction that keeps bringing me back. You know, I chew on it for a bit and I think about it and... What's a better way to attack it with the tools that I have available? And, oh God, 
Yeah, watch the rocks in through here. This pass is just made impossible with those stupid trees. Now, there is a vehicle. Uh, all I can remember is a manufacturer off the top of my head. It's the white W-H-I-T-E. White is the manufacturer. Um, it's a white truck and it's stuck in a whole crap ton of mud. Not too far from where we are right now. As we approach our first oil barrel, we uh, anyway, is there, there's a white uh, truck that is. Where are you? I just, I think it's somewhere. Yeah, actually, it is. It's it's right about here stuck in these trees I highly doubt we can oh yeah you can just barely make it out stuck in those trees right here's the back end of it if I remember correctly that one's or no it's right there goofball uh, that one's a bit of a chore to get out to uh, I don't know we might think about tackling that as well since we're here either way we're going to cruise by it, come up this little pass, come back down for these other oil barrels. It's either that or run the shoreline. The shoreline is not difficult to run, but we'll deal with that in a minute. So let's go ahead and set our anchors. Dive on into crane mode. weather change here again and my sinuses are a little fouled up so kind of bear with me a minute while I fight nature here I mean again this is not a very difficult task you know it's it's no more difficult than those drilling parts were you just get the thing lift up you get the thing in the back of the truck and that's that I mean <laughs> We're not splitting the atom here. It's just pick it up and drop it and be done with it. Quit screwing around, you know? Pack cargo. Restore crane. All right. Let's see if we can now get out of this muck. I'll drive by the... the white... It is buried in trees. The map makes it seem like it's just sitting out there in the woods waiting to get collected. Um, and what I was starting to say is you can either repair it there on site or you can drag it back to the garage. Either way, once you repair it and recover it or once you drag it back to the garage and repair it, it's yours. It's not a bad little truck. It, it, well, it's not a little truck. It's about the size of the Taiga. And uh, it's, it's not horrible. But, I don't know. Alright, so we'll make our little turn here. And we'll come in behind where that truck is. So... There. You can just see the little white uh, task notification. So I'm going to drop the trailer here. Oh lord. See, this is what I was talking about. I run into these scenarios all the time. Let me get pulled up here so we can at least get the name of this thing. There we are. Show task. It's called the Fixer Upper. You can't just dive in it and recover it either, but, uh. Yeah. There we go. Oh, and get promoted. Alright, well, that's good. So it's a White Western Star 4964 is 
the name of this vehicle. And like I say, it's not a bad little truck. I mean, it gets the job done and for free, you know. Trucks are a valued commodity here. Without those, there is no snow runner. Either way, at least we've got it figured out here. So let's see if I can get this trailer reattached without screwing things up. I've gone off on this little unexpected journey again. I just hope I haven't... <laughs> I just hope I haven't over overstretched my ability. We'll see. I have a knack for for doing just that. Let's see, instead of creating a road, how about we just stick to the one that's already there? Which is another downfall of mine. I I get it get it in my head that I could see a better way to do it. And, and oops. No, nope, no go. I mean this may not fare well either. But committed now. The first time I tried to do this, I went around the shoreline, and three and a half, four hours later, we're still fighting things. So let's see if I have figured out a smarter plan of attack here. <laughs> uh, turn on some lights. Oh, Lord. Just try to take this at a straight run. Perhaps. There we go. So once you get the Western Star, getting it out is, could be a little bit of a challenge. As you know, this is a very narrow, narrow map, and oh boy, we'll do a little winching to get up this hill. Getting through the narrows is. Oh, so challenging at times. Kind of like right now. I don't... I think I did it again. I think I found... found my own route. I need to really stop doing that. I make it much harder than it needs to be. Just follow the proper route, then. No, I don't know if we're gonna make this turn. Uh, why do I let me do these things? I'm smarter. I know better. Yeah, well. Alright, we got through that one alright. Now it's just a downhill run. Oh. A little sideways. Well, that's alright. Massive downhill run. Oh boy. This thing is sidewalking like crazy. And again, I think it might be just because I was screwing around with those mods. I've forgotten really how to control this thing. But, oh well. We'll get down. Take out a few signs along the way because they deserve it because they're signs. Now, why do I feel like I have done it again? Oh, because I want to get down that path right there. And take a run at that oil barrel. 
and then I guess we'll come back up onto the route try to punch through these trees and come back this direction so all right uh, well, I just don't know I just don't know Oh, so narrow. So narrow. There we go. Okay, we made it through that one. You have to bear with me while I hold my breath through some of this stuff. My God. If I go, if I go silent, it's just concentration. Excuse me. I'm trying not to kill this poor thing. See, now this was the path I thought would work. Uh, 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 uh. Jackknife. Ah, uh, man. Can I get straightened out? Uh, sort of. Okay, that was definitely not how how not to do that. This may be a do as I say, not as I do kind of thing. Which I'm sure you've experienced if you've been watching this series through. Don't do this. <laughs> do it this way. Don't do it the way I'm doing it. I have to sneak around this tree because I didn't aim properly again. It's going to allow us to do that. This trailer's not exactly designed to be sneaking. All right. <sighs> so let's figure out where is the oil barrel in relation to us right there. Okay. Now I'm just looking for a decent place to set the trailer so I can bring the oil barrel to it. That might be... These rocks will be okay. Yeah, right here. Somewhat still in the mud, but that's okay. All right, detached trailer. That at least gives the trailer a nice level place to stay. So now we'll take the taiga and go get the oil barrel out in the middle of nowhere here. Doing oodles of damage along the way. Have to be concerned about fuel now, too. Gosh darn it. Oh, lovely. Gee, thanks for that. <laughs> God. Uh, crap. Oh, well. Flip it back over. I'd be lying if I didn't say that over the break while I was repairing this whole system again I didn't think about going back on what I said with the uh, mods I really did give it some thought but in the end it's just I'll just stick with what I said I'd do 
to my own detriment, clearly, but that's all right. We have burned 40 gallons, 41 gallons now of fuel. We'll definitely need more before all this is over. All right, let's come on this side of the trailer. And set our anchors. And load on barrel number two, barrel, set of barrels number two. to keep the engine running in order to get the train to get or the, the, the train the crane to work so that's why gas or fuel keeps burning off that can be a bit of a pain uh, just trying to get lined up here again so I don't knock that one out the back <sighs> All right, cool. That wasn't so horrible. All right, number two is on. Now, number three. Oops, I'm going the wrong way again. Number three is definitely going to be the most difficult to get to, so we will probably get number four, come back for three with the Taiga and plant the tra trailer right here. And that is, of course, assuming I can get through the trees and through the muck here. Last time, if I remember correctly, uh, what did I do? I had all kinds of trouble. I ended up coming through this direction here and uh, finally cut through some trees and just went through the a trail, but that was just out of pure frustration. I didn't really care what happened, and I ended up dropping everything again, so. There is a clear, clearer path. Maybe I can find that. It's around the house that's up the road here just a bit or up the path here just a bit yeah I don't know. there I go try and high gear again so just up the way oh man come on baby just up the way is is uh, a house right here and there is a path it's just a matter of remembering it and finding it it's a climb straight up actually I think that was it right there Get out of this. Stick with stick with the plan before I jackknife everything. I think we already have this. Find the antenna tower. Oh, we didn't. We didn't load it. We just discovered it, but we didn't accept it. So now we have. That's in this general area as well. So when we do Michigan Path, we'll do the antenna tower as well. I have a sneaking suspicion we've already found it anyway, but... Oh, Lord. 
as long as you keep moving and hit your winch points this is not horrible well I mean it is but Some of the mod trucks, you have access to mud tires and better uh, gearboxes in the whole nine yards. And I mean, it just eats these things for lunch. Uh, okay, movement's good. Movement's good. I, they should call this Smithville Swamp, not Smithville Dam. I think the area is actually called Elizabeth, but, oh lord, let's get tied up there, 36 gallons of fuel, Stay as close to the trees as we can possibly be. All right. Get up to this flatter area, out of the mud. We'll shift into auto there. Okay. Phew, got through that. That's the other barrel. And it is not something I want to tackle right now because of this mud and because when you're there, you sink like crazy. I don't want to get in there and not be able to find a way out because there's really very few winch points there as well. But like I say, once you get to this point and you can winch your way through, then it becomes a much easier task. Well, not much easier. But <laughs> uh, I hope the quality and the clarity of the video pictures... What am I saying? I hope the clarity has picked up, uh, not only on the camera, but the game itself. Uh, for some reason, the previous Windows install and the installation of the drivers on my video card really left things a little nasty, and I don't quite understand what the real issue was, but once I got the installs redone, then everything seems to have cleared up quite a bit. Now, I was using my old Google Pixel phone as, a, as my main camera, the one that I'm pictured in. And that worked out really well, but it would only go to 720p in uh, the software that I was using. My wife, God love her, went out and picked up a better camera for me for Christmas and uh, this thing while it was a little challenging to configure I ended up learning a whole lot more about OBS that I really didn't know before in order to make this thing work the way it's designed to work so and that picked up the picture clarity and all that other good stuff now in the process, I just realized my logo is all over some important stuff. Bear with me while I correct that. My apologies. Probably want to put that guy. Let's put him back right here. There we go. Quick fix on the fly. Anyway, 
the picture quality is much better. And... I am all the more happy for it. And again, learning more about some of the functions of OBS, I was not aware of prior to. There we go. Okay. And that has helped tremendously as well. So I think I may have resolved a lot of things that I was having trouble with. The reason that I took some time off, A, was the holiday. Uh, I just figured, what the heck, let's, let's, let's pause for a moment and enjoy the season. Um, but primary to that, I was in the middle of setting up to do this episode when everything went haywire on my machine. I could get, I was having audio troubles anyway, as you, you may recall. Uh, crane mode. There we go. But then I also started running into video trouble really, really bad. And I wasn't sure how to fix any of it. Everything I was reading online was, oh, well, you need to do this or you need to do that. And nothing really was resolving the issues I was having, according to some of the other forums I was reading. So I finally just said to heck with it. Let's dump everything and completely restart. So a little technical discussion for a moment while I'm not wrecking things, hopefully. What was going on when you, when you record an OBS, depending on what your settings are, you can create an MKV file. Now you'll use a .mkv file if you have multiple audio tracks, which I do. I have the game, I have the microphone, um, sometimes some certain sound effects and you know things like that if I'm streaming which I haven't done in a while but uh, the MKV file works a lot better to attach trailer oh god okay the MKV file works no you don't no no gosh dang it see this is what I ran into before The MKV file works a lot better if you have multiple audio tracks. So the problem is, I don't know of too many, there are video editors that will work with MKV files. Excuse me while I have a drink of coffee. But a lot of them won't. So you have to do something in OBS called a remux. Well, a remux just basically takes the container, the wrapper that's on the outside of the video file and changes it to like a P4, okay? All right, so no real big revelation there if you already know what I'm talking about, but if you don't, then there you go. Well, something happened in the middle of one of my remuxing sessions on one of the previous videos that we, we were, that we made, and I was no longer able to view any file, whether it was MP4, uh, MP... M4, V, MVK, you know, whatever. I couldn't see them unless I uh, viewed them in VLC. And when I went to edit the files, well, my video editor and su su subsequently <laughs> other... Why are you not lifting? There we go. Other video editors wouldn't recognize the, the formats. So it was like every file was corrupted. Which, you know, is really a pain in the back if you're going to put out videos like I'm putting out here. Because if no one can see the videos, what's the point? It becomes an audio file. And nobody wants to listen, to listen to someone play a game. They want to see it happen, so... 
least that's the theory. So in looking through a few things, um, deleted OBS, reinstalled OBS, um, wiped out the video drivers, reinstalled the video drivers, uninstalled X programs, reinstalled X programs, all kinds of crap happened. None of which were helping. So there we go. Ultimately, I had to take everything down. Literally everything went down. The OBS file was gone. I wiped out Windows completely. Totally reformatted the drive, the whole nine yards. And then finally, reinstalled everything. Now, when I did that, luckily I was smart and I saved all the scenes and, snar and uh, sources and everything else that I had created. Unfortunately, a lot of other big things had to be recreated from scratch, so. <sighs> all that to say, I'm looking for a trailer store. I know there's a trailer store around here, but I think it might be just better to bring another truck down from the garage with the fuel. All that to say, uh, it was a two and a half, three day adventure trying to get everything put back together and res resolved. And I'm finally back and I'm actually in a little better position than where I was. I'm, I'm thinking I need to rearrange a few things on this desk because it worked for a moment, but the more I'm into this and the more I'm working on this system, as well as doing other things here, I need to go the right way. I need to rearrange a couple of things here, so... Not my favorite climb, especially when I'm low on fuel, but as long as I can get to the top, then I can drag the, I'll bring the load star down with a fuel, scout fuel trailer and refuel it. Anyway, the long and the short of it is once this thing's done today and the edit is complete and it's uploaded, then I'm probably going to tear this whole thing apart one more time. Luckily, no, no uninstalls or reinstalls, but just rearranging hardware and rearranging peripherals. And then I think we will be good to go for quite some time. All right, I'm going to park this guy here. And then we are going to, let's see, stop engine. I don't want to burn any more fuel than I have to. All right, so what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to grab the Lodestar. I'm going to grab a Scout Fuel Trailer, drag that on down, refuel this guy, and then we'll go pick up the fourth barrel and deliver it to the fuel station. Now, the fuel station, as you saw, without, without a trailer, that was a treacherous climb anyway, but it made it. The fuel station is through this muck this whole area is nothing but a swamp and it's right right here so let me go ahead and get the load star we'll refuel him we'll come down and grab this last oil barrel and drag the whole kit and caboodle and there we go all right i'll be back in a minute here okay we have refueled the taiga and i sent the Lodestar back to the garage, so that leaves us just with this last oil barrel sitting here in the middle of no man's land. And oh lord, the muck. Oh, the muck that we are going to have to deal with. I just, I don't know how else to really describe this. Last time I did this, I was facing an incredibly horrible direction to face. So I'm going to try something different here. As you can see, we are beached for sure, and 
it's only going to get worse as you see it's sinking down deeper and deeper. Ugh. I'm going to extend this crane out as far as I can. It's not going to get there for sure, but it will at least attach to there. And then we'll just use the lift and lower triangle lifting pulling the cable. We need to pull the arm in. Let's give it a little bit of slack with the square. Now, the really hard part about this is in order to winch out, normally we keep our cable from the crane attached to our cargo that's perched on the back here. But when we try to winch, we lose our cable. So I am going to very carefully try to get this set on the back of the truck where if we do have to winch we won't lose, theoretically, we won't lose our cargo. Alright. Get her in the low. muck. My hope is that the arm will keep this at least sort of... Oh, how about you pull the anchors up? That might help a little bit too. Anyway, my hope is that the arm, if we do have to use our real winch, the arm will be enough to get us out of here. Now, as you saw, we got promoted, which means we're now at level 8, which is great, because that allowed us to get the off-road wheels, or off-road tires, wheels, uh, for the Lodestar before we came down, but the Taiga doesn't quite have it. We're getting a little bit of forward momentum, a little bit of forward movement, but really not a whole lot. I can't say I've ever been stuck in mud like this. Snow for sure. Man, I remember as a kid making money pushing cars out, digging cars out in really heavy snowstorms. I was in a whole lot better shape than those days. Couldn't even think about trying that today. But I've never been in mud like this. Oh, we are just doing centimeters at a time. Alright, we're gonna have to... We're going to have to hope that the winch, I don't, want the, I don't want the back, I want the front. the back. Should have just done that in the first place and been done with it. 
Okay. Whew. And I just have to hope that the cargo stays put. I'm going to keep it in low so I don't get too bouncy and too out of control. And then we'll just reattach once we get next to the trailer. We have two slots remaining in that five slot trailer, so that works out pretty well. Just means I can lay the cargo down, hopefully, when we connect and repack and unpack and repack, it won't fly out like it did with that third one just a moment ago. Cool. Whew. Just trying to decide which angle of approach might be better. It could probably be better to just be on this side of the trailer. Anchor's really fouled up, and let's just reset that anchor just to be on the safe side. There we go. Oh, that rock looked like a bear on the side of the road there, or on the side of the water. Right there between those trees. I thought it was a bear. What in the world? When did bears get involved here? Alright. <laughs> what? <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to what? Alright. Well, I mean, it's better than tipping over, but I can't believe I just did that. I'll be back. Well, little finger foul aside, uh, we're, we're back. What in the world? What are you doing? Can't be low blood sugar. I've already eaten. I don't know. Uh, so I thought I was restoring Crane when actually I recovered. So let that be a lesson to you. Read left or right. Read left to right, kids. Reading is important. All right. Oh, uh, let's see. We need to... I need to turn a fan on. It's... Uh, 20... What is it? Checking the temperature outside. It is a cool 28 degrees out. That's outside. Inside, oh my god, super hot. So, excuse me. Uh, that's going to be a lot better. Should have turned that on before. Okay. What am, what am I doing? Reading. Hmm. Okay. Now, my suggestion is go very quickly here. Pack and unpack are luckily on the same thing, so it's just a quick double tap on that X, and now your cargo is nicely, beautifully loaded, and it doesn't come flying out like it did on me a little bit ago. So... <laughs> <sighs> I have a decision to make. Let me turn the engine off here really quick. Because if we go the other way, I'm going to need to conserve fuel. We can go back up this relatively straight shot. And come down around this lost bags. Come up this route. 
come through this very treacherous turn where these rocks are and then come in and drop the fuel here. It's definitely the longer route to go. Or we could try to fight this thing. And I have a scout I have the scout fuel trailer buried right next to the watchtower we discovered um, just south of the garage. So this is very narrow, especially when you get to that point right here. That's super narrow, but you can you can make it if you wish. Now, you're not out of the woods because once you get to these points through this section here, it's nothing but mud traps all the way down. This little creek absolutely fills this whole area with water. And it looks like it's not bad, but it, it's real bad. It's real bad. Now, if we got real gutsy, we could avoid that whole area altogether and either come out this direction, but you're stuck in a whole crap ton of mud through this way. This is where we do the rock climbing with the little, or did the rock climbing with, the, with our scouts. Um, but then you can come up this relatively easily paved path uh, through the, by the garage and then come down and catch it this way. Or you could come and try to cut through this and come back down and go this direction. But I think for all intents and purposes, our best bet is to come up this direction, refuel if we have to, come back through the muck and the horrid mess, and then drop it off here at the fuel station. So that's the route we're going to go. And of course, it's monsoon season in Michigan. Sure, why not? Okay. My concern is getting this trailer at such an angle that the load disappears. Wow, that's a big rock. Holy cow, how did we pick that up? Oh, for God's sake. time. There we go. Anyway, my concern after getting high centered in an area I never get high centered on, my concern is getting this trailer bouncing around so much that the cargo actually pops. And it's been known to happen. I mean, if you get your, triangle, your, your trailer at such an angle that uh, it looks like it's going to tip over, your cargo does fall out. That's one of the reasons I went with the sideboard rather than the flat trailer but uh, even with the sideboard trailer you could get it such an angle that the cargo unpacks itself and eventually tips and you lose the whole nine so let me get this into low it'll help with the climb a little more not a lot but it'll help and then we need to push over this section here Mm, 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 mm. There it goes. Come on, dig. Dig, 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 dig. There we go. Get a little winch assist here. possibilities are there to get this guy coming our way. Hmm. I 
my centered. All right, can I? <gasps> I should be able to hit. Yeah, right there. Beautiful. Right there. Definitely sticking. There we got her. Oh, there we got it. Come on, baby. Just try to wiggle our way through. Now, oh boy, that was way closer than I wanted it to be, but we didn't move too much. Spider-Man winching again. Now, there aren't many things we can latch onto here, but I think wiggling back and forth should be able to get us through. Yes. All right. So wheat. Okay. Doing on fuel 62. I think it might be a good idea just to fill up. So let's drop the trailer just for a moment. We'll run over to the scout. Fuel up right quick. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about once we get closer to that uh, swampy area. It's horrendous. Absolutely horrendous. I can't remember if we went through that area with the scouts. If we did, um, this may not be something new, but if we didn't, then you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. I'm going to try to keep to the right as much as I can to stay in the grassy areas as always. <clears throat> this is fairly deep mud and, and pretty pretty rough terrain to try to navigate through with this heavy, heavy load of oil barrels. And it may look like you're surrounded by trees, but these winch points are way the heck out there. And you got little baby trees, like the ones on our right of our truck here, that you will attach to and rip right out of the ground, so... Always a challenge, man. Always a challenge. Uh, yeah, like that. And sometimes these big trees aren't even a guarantee of success either because they will... Uh, let me get in a little. They will uh, rip right out of the ground too at some point or, or bend and just not help. Tree stumps are always a good thing to try to tie into if you can. Uh, those are never in the areas you need them to be. Here is the first section of the big nasty swamp area. Now one time I did try to stay hard on the right and stay in that grass and the truck went over. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just completely went over. Lost everything that I was hauling and uh, oh boy. Almost did it here. <laughs> Ooh. A little tippy. Alright, so that's section one. Section two is right ahead of us, so you can see that's no better. Come on. tied into
Uh. Uh. Don't tell me I gotta back up and run at it again. Oh! Big tree stump right there. Never even saw it. Never even saw it. Oh, wow, that's funny. I was too busy looking ahead, not looking around. All right, so you can cut through there, or you can cut through this nasty mess. We're going to go this direction, because it's way better. And then we're going to cut really hard to the left, so we avoid that muck. Huh, that's funny. I was talking about tree stumps and ran one right over. We're gonna go down into low again. Just for that little extra bit from the diff lock. Telephone pole up ahead is a very good center power pole. Telephone pole, whichever. A very good sign that means we're getting into a paved area you typically will not see poles in areas that don't have asphalt though well, yukon proved that that was wrong wife and i were diving through that a while back and here we are at the main road Let's get it into auto. Get that last little push. And we're not that far off the fuel station. And what do we burn? About 16 gallons of fuel getting through the mud. Alright, the drop point is just the other side of our fuel up section. We are good to go. Here's our cargo management. One, two, three, and four. 340 stars, $3,500. And we have completed threatening accident. Oh. I need a nap. Okay, so there we have it. Threatening accident, completely done, completely off the books. We will never have to do that one again, thank God. <laughs> Listen, thanks for watching. I appreciate you checking this one out. Uh, take a look down in the video description. You'll see the link to the Playthrough Man channel on Facebook. Give us a follow over there. If you like what you saw, give us that old thumbs up right next to that. You'll also see the red box for subscribe. Click on that one too. What the heck? I mean, what's it worth? You know, just click and you're done. We'll be back tomorrow. I'm going to spend some time in addition to rearranging a couple of things around here. I'm going to spend some time thinking about how we're going to do the next series. Um, it's going to be a whole lot simpler. Uh, I think this go around and make a little bit more sense. I'm going to try to get some logistics involved here. So anyway, we will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.